Hello again. Okay, it's another one of the Amstrad videos. Um, just to fill you in on the, the epic that's happened, um, I bought this from a, a lovely chap called Dale. He uh, runs a site called Wang Me Up. Uh, I'll put the link up later on. Wang is in the you know, Wang computers. Uh, really, really nice guy. Uh, I bought it. Um, it wasn't quite, it, was, it was described as the delight came on uh, and the tape played, but uh, that obviously the, with no power cables, it was very hard, to, or with no uh, video cables, it was hard to see if it was working. So um, there was a little bit of damage to the tape deck. Uh, and long story short, the guy being so nice that he is, had sent me, actually sent me on a replacement one. Now, in the meantime, uh, I got hold of a, um, a nice chap in Greece, and I must post on the, uh, the someone actually asked me about the, the cable. Uh, I think it was Electric Adventure. It's a nice guy. Uh, I must post on the details. So if I haven't yet, apologies, I will get around to it. Um, anyway, uh, we got the video cable, um, plugged in the, the power supply that I was using, and wasn't getting anything on screen. So, uh, it turns out, now I've gone and bought a, a new, like an actual power supply, but it turns out that um, the power supply that I was using with it, uh, and unfortunately it's the one that Dale had been given in good faith, said, oh yeah, that'll work fine with it. Uh, that's the one he'd been given by someone saying that it worked with it. Actually doesn't. Uh, the voltage was fine, that wasn't an issue. The polarity was fine, that wasn't an issue. But the main problem being that um, the Amstrad CPC, I think it looks for at least 1.5 to 2 amps, like it pulls a lot of, you know, well, it pulls power. Um, the power supply, the variable one we were both using was a uh, 300 uh, MA one. So in other words, it was basically, you know, 50% of the power it was looking for. So which is why, obviously, when you tried putting, you know, turning it on, it, it just wasn't working. Uh, so while I was sitting there twiddling my thumbs waiting to get hold of the power supply, um, I did a bit of searching and I found lots of stuff saying that the, the Sinclair plus three power supply would work. Now, I don't have a plus three. I have a plus two. Only dawned on me after looking at schematics, and I'll show you really quickly there. It's the plus two one. I actually have a plus two A, uh, which uses the same power supply as the, as the Sinclair plus three. So what I did was um, I built a little adapter. Uh, there's basically two cables running in here. Um, one clamps onto uh, the plus five voltage pin on the plus three adapter, and the other one pl uh, plugs onto the ground pin. And the plus five goes to the center pin of this and the ground goes to the outer uh, the outer pin. So, um, without further ado. There you go. So, if you remember rightly, I was having issues with the uh, the tape. I was, you know, trying to get it working. Now you see that there. Uh, so we hit play. Hit the any key. I don't know if you can see it there, but the play is working. Now, it doesn't seem to want to rewind. Yeah. It doesn't seem to want to rewind and fast forward. Uh, so, it's not, I, I don't think it's, it's working, I actually don't have a Amstrad tape to test it with. What I'm gonna do is there's a little mod that lets you bypass the tape drive completely and plug an MP3 player in. So I'm gonna probably go down that route with this guy. Uh, I also need to do a bit of, bit of work because the, uh, as you can see there, space just isn't registering there. So, uh, and obviously I will need to, you know, press space at some point. Uh, so there you go. Um, and I'm CBC 464, just about resurrected. Um, so listen, thanks to uh, Dale at Wang Me Up. He's sort of well above and beyond the Call of Duty. Um, I think he's out of stock at the moment to the website, but uh, when someone comes in, I'll, I'll post a link up as well, uh, just as a reminder. But he's some great stuff up there. Um, like I said, he just went well above and beyond the uh, Call of Duty. And if only either of us had, you know, gone and looked up the power supply specs, uh, we might have been in business a bit quicker. But uh, like I said, uh, I'm going to post a link up to the site because he's... Uh, he just goes an extra mile to, to help the customers out and it's well worth checking out. Uh, anyway, I'm going to do one last um, mod video thing on if I can get the uh, the audio in cable built and working. And then we'll see if we can play a couple of games. And then I'm still going to say the Commodore 64 and the Atari 800 or the 800 XL are better. But, you know, eh. and I'm looking forward to seeing stuff like Groiser and uh, that and this and uh, all those all those games that look really, really colourful. And the, you know, and the uh, the inlays when I was buying my Commodore 64 and Atari games and the, the Chili Amstrad really looking really awesome. So I'm looking forward to playing a couple of them. Anyway, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching.